The Nigerian movie industry, Nollywood, has indeed come a long way. It has evolved and become the third largest movie industry in the world. From iconic movies, Living in Bondage had a great storyline and talented actors like Genevieve Energy and Charles Okafo. It's impressive to see how the production quality of Nigerian movies has improved with higher budgets. And it is fantastic to hear that Nollywood movies has gained popularity not only in Africa but also among non-Africans in the diaspora. It's no wonder that a research firm, Pricewaterhouse Corpus, says Nigeria's film industry in 2021 contributed 2.3%, about 239 billion naira to GDP. The Nigeria film industry has embraced one, new innovations and digitization. Filmmakers are really pushing the boundaries and exploring the extraordinary with creative storytelling and the use of technology tools like drones, camera, lights, and quality lens. Films like Jago Jago by Femi Adebayo and A Tribe Called Judah by Funke Akindele. These movies made a massive impact and gained a lot of attention in the industry. Embracing indigenous themes and showcasing Nigeria's major ethnic group in their storytelling. This shift is really taking the industry forward in the second area of the power of social media, which is undeniable. Jago Jago trended in the UK and 17 other countries within just 48 hours of its release, making over $1.4 million in just 30 days. Funke Akindele movie. A Tribe Called Judah is still ranking high in the list of the highest grossing movies of 2023 and recently with a billion views. Gang of Lagos is now left out by Jade Sola Osibero and Kemilala Akindoju also made waves in the industry. It's an exciting time for Nollywood. Thirdly, in the area of global relevance for Nollywood, with different streaming platforms eager to buy content and engage filmmakers, in commissioning production is laudable. This has also helped in boosting funds to filmmakers. Vectorian actor and filmmaker Ehizoge Eramosele in an exclusive interview is grateful for where the movie industry is now, the growth and being recognized in major platform worldwide. Back then, it was really tricky. Um, we are just starting out. We didn't really know much. So we used everything we had at our fingertips, you know, yeah. um, small digital cameras, VHS stuff, and all yeah. those kind of things. And guess what? It has brought us here. Okay. And Ken Yogumbe of Frank Time Africa at AOT 5.0 acknowledges the success of the movie industry and emphasizes the need to support music industry. From South Sudan, Abesedo Emma Kwaje of the Future Africa Leaders Award recognizes the quality and captivating uniqueness of Nigerian movies. But it's good they are also in it. They've done so well with movies. They have not done so well with music. That's a fact. So we are also trying to see what they can do to favor music. Like me personally, I love Nollywood. So it's also one thing that I love about Nigeria because um, like they have this kind of how to entertain people and, and all this. Me, I always, like, I watch almost the whole day sometimes watching movies, the likes of, like, like currently my favorite is Adakiri Kiri. She is, like, and getting to know what they are doing and also the, the industries, like, when it comes to music and all these, it's so beautiful. Despite the challenges of limited cinema screens, Technology has opened up new avenues for distribution, such as online platforms. It's amazing to see how technology is transforming the film industry and making it more accessible to audience.